Payday is a time to enjoy the fruits of your labor, indulge in delicious meals, and shop without worry. However, before letting your hard-earned income slip, take the following vital steps to ensure your paycheck is spent responsibly. Everything is cumulative. The stuff I learned when I was 20 is, is useful today. Not necessarily the same way and not necessarily every day, but it, it, it's useful. So you're building a database in your mind that is going to pay off over time. But you have to have a little money to work with. So there's nothing like, there's nothing like getting a few dollars ahead, stay away from credit cards, and uh, you're going to have a lot of fun if your mind goes along that track as you get older. First, pay yourself. Reality sets in when the joyful waves of revenue pour over your checking account. Bills, groceries, credit card balances, and a lot of other chores compete for your attention. This part of payday is not the most exciting, but it is an important task that must not be overlooked. Rent, utilities, and other bills are all too easy to get entangled in. Generally, people could ensure that whatever remains is entirely theirs to enjoy. However, there is a key to financial well-being, pay yourself. Set aside a percentage of your earnings for savings just like you would pay any other expenditure. Paying yourself must become a steadfast commitment, as legendary billionaire Warren Buffett advises. He famously said, do not save what is left after spending, but spend what is left after saving. Buffett emphasizes the importance of prioritizing our own needs before attending to others, as it is all too easy to get caught up in fulfilling everyone else's desires while neglecting our own financial security. You diligently pay your bills, feeling responsible and deserving of some fun. Next thing you know, you've depleted your remaining funds without setting anything aside for yourself. It's a common pitfall, work hard, play hard, right? But instead of indulging before paying your bills or having fun, prioritize paying yourself first. This is the crucial first step when payday arrives. Establish an emergency fund, after ensuring you've paid yourself. Emergencies, whether mild or severe, can strike without warning. That is exactly the reason you need to be well prepared to deal with unpredictable occurrences. You'd better proactive plan for the financial surprises rather than fretting pointlessly. Systematically saving towards an emergency fund should be your second course of action when you receive your paycheck. Define emergencies with unwavering clarity, upgrading your phone or car does not qualify as an emergency. However, sudden car breakdowns or unexpected medical bills certainly do. Calculate the amount you would need to survive if you were to lose your source of income. Multiply that by 6 to 9 months and diligently strive to save up that sum. Remember, the purpose of emergency savings is not to generate wealth, but to provide a safety net that shields your long-term savings and investments from unanticipated short-term expenses. Well, you don't overspend your income, you stay charitable in spite of your troubles. You deal with reliable people and you do what you're supposed to do. And All these simple rules work so well to make your life better. Create a budget. Before you dive into enjoying your hard-earned income, it is crucial to establish a budget that allows you to savor life's pleasures without depleting your entire paycheck. What you might be thinking is budgeting seems restrictive and indicates scarcity. This perspective arises from an incorrect understanding of budgeting. When done correctly, budgeting empowers you to allocate your income wisely and indulge without guilt. Hardworking does not mean you should play hard with every dollar of your income. This is precisely why many individuals find themselves living from paycheck to paycheck. They fail to recognize that their income can support more than immediate consumption. Although it may be tempting to spend every dollar you make, I strongly advise against it. Your monthly earnings of $4,000, for instance, should not be completely spent. Allocate your resources wisely, and you'll be pleasantly surprised by the freedom it brings. To achieve this, create a budget as soon as you receive your paycheck, making sure you don't spend all of your hard-earned money at once. Probably if I had one piece of advice to give to young people of, you know, that across the board, it would be just to don't get in debt. It, uh, the game plays a lot easier if you're a little bit ahead of the game than, than if you're behind the game. And Ben Franklin said that long ago in better terms, which Charlie can recite. But, but there's a real difference. I get letters every day from people that are in all kinds of financial trouble. And often it's health related, which is tragic. Uh, but very often it's, 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 it, re it relates to debt. I mean, they get behind the game and they're never going to catch up. Prioritize debt repayment. Yes, the next item on our list, the least favorite aspect of payday, repaying debt. 
Escaping this responsibility is simply not an option. Debt must be repaid. And the best time to tackle this challenge is when you receive your paycheck. You may wonder, why does it have to be when I get paid? Can't I relax and enjoy my money? Believe me, I empathize with your sentiments. However, it is in your best interest to repay any outstanding debt promptly. This applies to all forms of debt, including loans, late payments, and particularly high-interest debt. Prioritizing high-interest debt is essential because the longer you take to repay it, the more interest you accrue, a burden you most certainly want to avoid. Who wants to spend the majority of their income on debt repayment? Certainly not. Therefore, make debt repayment a priority when you receive your paycheck, lifting a significant weight off your shoulders. I was able to save $10,000 by the time I was 21, and uh, you know that was a huge, huge head start. Every dollar then is you know, worth making 10 or $20 later on. And so if you are interested in financial matters, getting a stake early uh, is very useful and getting knowledge early is very useful. So invest 20% of your earnings. Trust me, you'll be glad you did. While many people choose to invest, many others do not, often for reasonable reasons. The fear and suspicion that individuals have are a result of the numerous stories of financial disasters. However, accept the risk. Nobody ever becomes successful without taking chances. According to billionaire Warren Buffett, life itself is a risk. Ignorance, or not knowing what you're doing, is the source of risk. The goal is to perform extensive study and arm oneself with knowledge. A common misconception is the belief that there's always time to start saving or investing. Time, my friend, is a non-renewable resource. Once lost, it can never be reclaimed. Don't postpone investing because you feel the need for more money or because you're awaiting the next payday. Commence your investment journey now, even with a modest sum. Witness it blossom over time. Now, don't misunderstand, I'm not suggesting that you invest your entire income. Setting aside 20% of your income to enhance your net worth has proven beneficial in my experience. Naturally, this percentage may vary depending on your individual circumstances and other expenses you must address. Utilize this portion of your income to acquire assets that generate additional streams of revenue, such as dividend stocks, REITs, ETFs, or bonds. It's not a complicated process, but it, it, it definitely requires uh, a discipline. In addition to creating and adhering to a budget, it is crucial to formulate a spending plan upon receiving your paycheck. Although having a budget is commendable, strictly adhering to it can prove challenging at times. Unforeseen circumstances arise, necessitating adjustments or additional expenditures in certain areas. A spending plan is still necessary, even if you manage your money meticulously. Individuals with budgets in place are often unaware of where their hard-earned income goes to. These seemingly inconsequential expenses, left unchecked, can accumulate and deplete a significant portion of your income. By tracking your expenses through a spending plan, you gain clarity and control over your financial outflows. I understand that you may be eagerly anticipating an increase in your income in the near future, enabling you to take more substantial steps. However, I implore you not to wait for that moment. Learning to manage your current resources effectively will empower you to make the most of what you have. Learn everything you can about where your money goes now and where you want it to go. As your income increases, you will possess the tools to manage it more proficiently. A spending plan is crucial for tracking expenses and preventing unexpected purchases. It helps you manage your finances and avoid unnecessary expenses, such as unplanned withdrawals from ATMs, grocery trips, and impulse purchases. These actions are all within the budget framework, and a well-formulated spending plan helps you monitor your expenses and avoid significant damage to your income. Therefore, diligently track your expenses. Maintain a cash reserve. Cash is truly king, observe the staunch beliefs of Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger. These two legendary investors staunchly advocate for keeping a substantial amount of cash on hand for emergencies or advantageous deals. I highly advise you to do the same. In our contemporary society, which relies heavily on cashless transactions, the significance of having physical currency often goes unrecognized. Embracing a cashless lifestyle undoubtedly has its advantages, and I also appreciate the convenience of making payments with a mere swipe of a card. Online shopping, with its ease and accessibility, holds a special place in my heart. However, this should not undermine the importance of keeping cash readily available. When I receive my paycheck, I make it a point to retain a portion in cash.
This practice not only reduces the frequency of account withdrawals but, most importantly, alleviates the need to tap into my savings repeatedly. Because when we use the ATM, we usually withdraw a little more money than we need from the ATM because we are afraid it will not be enough. However, we never spend all of the money we withdraw, there is always little money left. Then we always choose to waste the remaining little money. Over time, the accumulation of a little becomes more, causing serious financial problems. And there you have it, the 7 essential steps to take when you receive your paycheck. I encourage you to share your thoughts and comments below. Don't hesitate to like this video and subscribe to our channel to see more videos like this. We are looking forward to seeing you again.